Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with a, another Pokemon Stellar Crown video on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out a little bit more from our booster case of our newest set. So, without further ado, let's slide on in the now opened case because we're going to be checking out booster box number two and number three. So, without further ado, let's grab these two out. We have had a great start to the set. We've already opened uh, the Elite Trainer box and our first of the booster boxes. And let me tell you, they went down pretty well. They went down pretty well indeed. We're going to try and obviously keep it rattling and rolling through here. We've had our hour-long opening. We've checked out quite a few of the cards and stuff like that. So now we are going to fly through. We're going straight to those reverses and rares and seeing what we're going to get from this set. I'm super buzzing because it's already been such a great start to the set. Let's see what we can do. It's two boost boxes, so anything could happen. I'm going to set this one over to the side. That will be booster box number three. And we're going to crack on, and we're going to get straight into this. Open this one up, and we're just going to we're going to fly through it. We're going to fly through it. We've got we've definitely got some EXs that we've not seen, which is great because we can stop and have a little look at those. But for the most part, we will be flying. We've seen all trainers. All the trainer cards have now been revealed, so that's that's a great little bonus. We're going to come all the way down here. We're going to just shove this off to the side here. I will be keeping a little bit of a stack maintenance going myself on the side. We've got sleeves at the ready. Might want to go and get yourself a drink, some crisps, some snacks, something like that, because hopefully we're going to pull some good things. But let's see how we start things off here. We go straight into Reverse Diplin. Charcadet and Cradilly Hollow right there. <clears throat> so nothing in the first one. It's all good. It's all good. That reverse of the apple there looking pretty sweet. No pun intended there. We have got ourselves a Cubone reverse. We've got a Crispin reverse. And we've also got a Hollow Zeraora with, of course, a Dark Energy as well. No matching ones just yet. All good though, all still to play for. Hope you guys have had some great pulls so far. I've heard off a few people, so that's always great to see. A few comments and everything like that, letting us know. We've got a Ladybug, we've got a Charger Bug, and we've also got an Iron Boulder Hollow with a matching energy right there. So we'll pop that up to the side. First booster box had three matching energy, so we're gonna see how the rest of these go. Pulls wise, let's see if we maybe get something in this one, let's see. We're going to go four straight with nothing. Let's see. We've got a Drifloon. We've got a Reveroom as our reverse. And we've got a Grimmsnarl Hollow. No matching energy on that one. We managed to finally see all the Hollows. Um, the last pack in our booster box gave us that, that Cradilly. And that was like the last Hollow that we needed. And now we're on to the same old, same old here. Let's see. We've definitely got something in this one. Let's see what we've got though. Speaking of Cradilly, we've got a reverse of it. We go into a Bombardier, and oh, very cool. We get the Blastoise EX as well. No matching energy on that one, but a Blastoise EX is a Blastoise EX. I believe this is a reprint from the 151 set. Uh, they reprinted it and popped it in here as an additional one. We've got Blastoise EX. It does evolve from War Turtle. Unfortunately, there's no Squirtle or War Turtle in this. Same, uh, well, there is a Squirtle. It's an illustration rare. Uh, we've got HP of 330 here, a water type, of course. Ability there is Solid Shell. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks after applying weakness and resistance. We've got Twin Cannons for two water. We've got 100, uh, 140 times. Discard up to two basic water energy cards from your hand. Okay, cool. This attack does 140 damage for each card you discarded in this way. There we go. So it can potentially do 280. Not bad. It's got a weakness to lightning, which isn't exactly ideal with like Maridon still running around, but it's still a pull. Blastoise EX there. It's just it's just that EX as well. There's no full art or anything like that of it. So that's the only way of getting it, is a regular EX. So to see multiples of those, we really don't mind, but maybe not in this box. 
Let's carry on though. We have got ourselves a Rhyhorn. Oh, we go straight back to back here with this Crabominable. He is lost there in that snow. What a beautiful card. We got the Silver Round. We got the Glitzy Glitz. We got the snow. Wow, this is absolutely super stuff. You can barely make him out, but Crabominable from the set there. Very cool indeed. We'll get a sleeve on that in just a second. Boofalant Hollow and of course... It is a dark energy right there. Two water types so far. A little bit of a water box going on here, potentially. We're going to see Lapras as well. Let's see. Possibly make it happen. You never know. All right, we've got Rhyhorn on the front, leading us to... Ooh, we have got an Alchemy Reverse. Luminion Reverse. Oh! <laughs> we go into a full art, and it is a Lacy... Full art right there, that is beautiful. Loving all the little flowers and leaves in the background there. A little bit of wind with the leaves whistling up there, but absolutely gorgeous card there, lacy right there. This does have a special illustration rare, but the full art itself looks absolutely amazing. Very, very awesome indeed. And for anyone that doesn't know what it does, have a little read of that. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining, you draw eight cards instead. So nice little way of bumping you up there maybe later in the game with Lacey. Very cool indeed. Love that. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff so far. These boxes are treating us well. Let's see how we continue. All right, what have we got here? We have got ourselves a Reverse of Grubbin. We've got a Clang, and we've got a Rhyperia Hollow as well. No matching energy on that one. Let's pop this down a little bit just so we can really sit. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Just a smidgen. Just so we can see everything nice and clearly. I was going to do a pack trick then, but we're not going to. Uh, we're going to slow roll that as well. Let's have a little look what we got in this one. We've got Fido Reverse. We've got a... <laughs> Duraladon Reverse, and there is the Dreadnought Hollow there with a Dark Energy. Okay, next one up. Let's see what we get from this one. We've got... Okay, we start off with a Mo Rotom Reverse. We've got a Swallop Reverse, and we've got a Raging Bolt Hollow. There we go. No matching energy is going to be on that one. That is the only... That is the only of its kind in this set for the dragon typings. They uh, they gave they gave it to Raging Bolt. But there we go. <clears throat> All right, on to Terrapagos now. And of course, Terrapagos is also one that doesn't have a full art in this set. I think it got ta uh, it got taken out so it could be put into its own little special collection set that should be out in a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months. Um, but let's pop that there. We've got a Fan Rotom. We've got a Meltan. Ooh, we got the Caracosta Hollow as well. No matching energy on that one. All good. We sort of slowed down a little bit here. Only three pulls so far. I say only, but you know, they are pretty decent as well. We have got something in this one though. Pulled a little bit too much there. We've got the Gossifleur. We've got the Azumarill. And, oh, of course. Okay, convenient. We get the Venusaur EX as well from this one. Very awesome indeed. Again, this one has been taken from the 151 set. I believe it is a like a reprint. So it's a slightly different artwork on this one. But there we go. We've got Venusaur EX. It is, of course, a grass type. Evolves from Venusaur. 340 HP grass type. So we've got the ability here, Tranquil Flower. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may heal 60 damage from one of your Pokemon. Then for three, col uh, three grass and one colorless, so we've got Dangerous Tox Whip for 150. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned right there. There we go. Nice little bit of Venusaur action going on there. Very cool. Getting both of those in the same box is always awesome to see. Alrighty. Blastoise and Venusaur. And of course, the only way to evolve them up, really, in this set is with the Bulbasaur and Squirtle that are in the illustration spots. So, who knows? Maybe we maybe we pull those in this opening. We will see. We've got a Pancham. Oh, speaking of illustration rares, we've got an absolutely beautiful... Stunning sort of electrical, it's got that sort of punk, like, uh, punk sort of theme theme to it, really. It's like a neon nightclub punk sort of vibe. 
there is a lot of description there. But yeah, that is really cool. We've got the Zera Aura right there, which is, I think it's the hollow. Uh, it is a hollow in this set, pretty sure. But yeah, looking pretty awesome there. Another illustration rare from this one. And oh, there we go. Speaking of, two Zera Aura, one pack. There we go. All right. Not bad indeed. So we're up to five pulls now. Looking pretty good. So one full art, two EXs, and two illustration rares at the moment. No sign of an A spec. No pink. <laughs> well, we'll go straight to it. But we do go back to back here. We're getting quite a few back to back pulls here. So this is always good. We've got a Mewtwo. We've got a Frogadier reverse. And, wow, coincidental, we get the Greninja as well after that one, with a matching water energy, nevertheless. So this is one of the basic EXs. I think I don't think we actually came across one of these. Now, when I say basic EXs, I mean it's very, very simple in terms of how you play it. This was one of those that came out in, like, the starter decks. There's, like, EX starter decks in Japan and all that sort of stuff, and I believe this is one of them. There's a couple more in this set. Like, there's a Lucario, and there's maybe a couple of others as well that sort of get that treatment. But, yeah, with Greninja right here, let's have a little look. Good thing is they've given him the full evolution line in here, so it's not like the Blastoise and Venusaur. But let's have a little look. See what Greninja EX is all about. So, of course, it does evolve from Frogadier, and it's a water type. HP of one, uh, 300, not 100. Uh, for one water and a colourless, so we've got Shifting Shuriken for 100 plus, And then you flip a coin, if heads attack, does 100 more damage. Very simple, if you know what I mean. Uh, only 100 damage there, potentially. Um, or potential of 200. Weak to Lightning. Again, we did mention that about Blastoise. It is a bit yikes, but it's all good. It's all good. All right, so we're up to six pulls so far. We've maybe got this pack and about three more after that, so anything can happen here. Still no sign. Oh, that does look very cool. Uh, we've got that Raging Bolt reverse right there. Very cool. Love those reverses. Going into a Turtonator, and it's going to be an Iron Boulder Hollow as well. Yeah, we will see what we get. Hopefully we get some, some other Terra Pokemon as well along the way. Be pretty cool. Hopefully it's not all these sort of basic EXs, the reprints and all that sort of stuff. We want a little bit of value from this box potentially. But then again, it's always good to get those in the collection straight away. We've got a Cyclozar going into a Kling Clang. And of course it's a Grimmsnarl. No matching energy on the Grimmsnarl though. Okay, so it's this one and one more pack on the left side. So potentially we're looking at maybe one more pull here, putting us up to seven on each side maybe. We will see. No looking at pink there, but let's see. Is there anything else we might have? We've got a Toad's Cruel. Toad's Cool, sorry. Uh, Rapidash and a Bouffalant Hollow as well. All right, then let's see. Is the Ace Spec in here? Usually you get two in a box. There is only actually three in this set, which is uh, unfortunate because some, sometimes there is, uh, sometimes there's more, sometimes there's more. We've got that cover fossil right there leading to, it's going to be a, it's, it's not an A spec, we can definitely say that. Drift, Blim, Maril, and oh, okay, a Rhyperia, okay. No matching energy there. So six pulls on that one side there. So let's bring out the rest here. Didn't, didn't skip out on any packs there, which is all good. Would hate to see that happen. Let's bring in the Cinderace pack from the right side now. So potentially looking about eight pulls here to make up to sort of like a 14, but we will see, because sometimes they do fluctuate a little bit. Let's see though, we've got a double, we've got a Swallot, and okay, yikes, we get a Venusaur EX again. Oh my goodness me, okay. A little bit of dupe city here with these EXs. Didn't expect to see you. We haven't really duplicated on any EXs in a booster box um, re recently. But I, I think it has happened to us at some point when we've opened a booster box. Sometimes it's quite good. Normally when it's a different sort of artwork or something like that. But hey, you know, we need, we need three of them to finish our collection at least. So that's all good. Let's have a look. We've got Fido and Meltan into a Kling Clang with a matching Metal Energy. So we'll pop that over there. Up to three already. And we've got loads of packs still to 
beat our first booster box on those matching energies. We will see. Going into the next one here, we've got Clink on the front, very convenient. We go into a Gossifleur, a Lectabuzz, and it's going to be a Dreadnought with a matching energy. Two for two, straight back to back. Very cool indeed. Very awesome. All right, we've got the code going off to the side, then into... Oh, there we go. Nice. We've got the Tauros, a Zoomeril, and a Mel Metal Hollow right there. I think that is one of the EXs as well, the Mel Metal. I think that's one of the simple ones. I call it the simple ones. I should just call it the battle, the EX battle deck ones. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Crabrawler on the front of this one. We got Crabrawler as a reverse, going into a Pansia and a Bouffalant Hollow as well. That's not going to have a matching energy, unfortunately. But we're up to four, beating the first pack. So we're we're we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. Come on, let's have something else in this one, please. Oh, another. Okay, another Raging Bolt reverse. Okay, into a Morgrim and a Rhyperia Hollow. Okay. Wow, we are flying through these packs already and only a Venusaur to show for it. No Ace spec, one full art. Ooh, this could be a very interesting box here. We'll see. Maybe things will all pick up now. <laughs> Maybe they'll pick up now. Let's see. Applin into an Ockerberry and a Raging Bolt Hollow. Okay, I would give it to you, but you're a Dragon type. You do have Lightning in your uh, cost, but... That's not fair. That is not fair for me to give that. All right, let's see. Maybe have some... Yes, we definitely have something in this one. Okay, good to see. Let's see. Is it something new? We've got a Driftblim, Jirachi Reverse, and... Oh, it is a new one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We've got Garganical EX with a matching energy as well. Garganical, you shouldn't have. So this one is one of those Japanese promos that come out every now and again with a, like a new release set where you get like seven new cards and there's like one random EX or what it was, like a V. And this was one of them. Uh, came out a couple of months ago at least. Now the funny thing is, again, the hilarious thing would be if you got this during a pre-release, you can't play it because there isn't any evolution line for this. It's just this. Seems a bit odd, but that's what they decided to do. Anyway, let's have a little look. So it's Garganical EX, of course, it's a 340 HP fighting type, and it evolves from Knacklestack. The ability here is Salty Body. This Pokemon can't be affected by special conditions, so poison, burn, etc. And the one attack here is a Fighting Double Colors for Block Hammer, 170, and then during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 60 less damage from attacks. There we go. It has got a weakness to grass, which, you know, with... You've got your Teal Mask Ogre Ponds, you've potentially got your uh, Hydra Apples going around, Hydra Apples going around. So, mm, could be an interesting one. It's quite a hefty one with four retreat as well. So, yeah, might want be one of those bulky Xs, but obviously we do need three of these. This one doesn't come with a full art. A lot of that in this set, which is quite good, because it keeps the cost down, which is always nice to see, because when you're collecting them, Sometimes it can get a little bit expensive. All right, we got Purugly on the front of this one. Still no Ace spec. Okay, we got a Cyclozar. Oh, oh, of course it is. Of course it is this one. <laughs> I actually had to try and double check to see what the name the name sounded like. Uh, it was the worst thing I could have done. I've I've tried to get different voices to say it, and I really just cannot get <laughs> get to understand it. As far as I'm aware and what I call it, it's like something like Archaladon. Archaladon? That's what I want to call it, Archaladon. But uh, this is gorgeous, actually. This is absolutely amazing. We've got all the little kids in the stall there. It's just walking through the big bridge thing that it is. Uh, <laughs> very colourful. Great artwork. Looks absolutely amazing. So anyone who likes your Archaladon, Archaladon, sorry, then this one might be for you. Very cool. All right. Doubt we're going to go for a double. No, we got a Grim Snarl and then a Fire Energy. Let's get a sleeve on the Archaladon. Alrighty, so we're up to three on this side now. So we're on nine at the moment. So we're looking a little bit, a little bit. Uh, well, I mean, to be honest, we do have nine pull, uh, nine pulls. I hope so. We got nine packs. It is Elite Trainer Box sort of amounts. Hello. <laughs> there we go. 
Um, it is the Elite Trainer box amount, so potentially we might be on for three, but I'd like to see maybe a couple more. Do we have any pink? Doesn't look like it, but... Ooh, this is looking quite spicy, maybe. This is looking quite spicy, potentially? Or am I wrong? I might be wrong. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I'm wrong. Let's see. We've got a Mewtwo reverse, is it? No, it's not. Okay, I was seeing things. Tortuga reverse, and it's... Oh, of course it is. The Ar <laughs> Archaladon as our hollow right there. I don't know, I was seeing things then. I was seeing some texture. Those hollows can be very, very off-putting. I mean, if you've ever done something what I do like this, where you can sort of see the edge, sometimes... I mean, right now I can tell you that... We anyway, we won't ruin it. Let's not ruin it. I probably have. I'm sorry. Pancham reverse. Zera Aura reverse. Oh, very cool. Very cool indeed. We get the Cinderace EX. No matching energy there, but that's all good. We got the Cinderace EX indeed. The regular one. That is looking very cool indeed. Anyone that's not seen this, absolutely give that a pause. Have a little read through. The very interesting new Stellar Terra types right there. Whew. Okay, let's get a sleeve on the Cinderace there. First Terra of the box. Will it be the only one though? We will see. We will see. Let's keep things rocking and rolling here. Can we get maybe a couple back to back? That would be pretty cool. We go into a Buffalant Frogadier and an Iron Boulder Hollow with a match. We're up to six matching energies. That's crazy. Wow. Six matching energies. Whew. All right. I'm a little bit concerned we're not getting an A spec here. This is very, very interesting. Comfy. Turtonator, Noctowl. Okay, not bad. Not a bad hollow at all. We are on to our final five. Final five packs here. Things are looking a little bit low, so we could do with maybe having the, the higher end of five, maybe three being pulls. But let's see. Anything in this one, potentially? We've got Wooloo. No, nope, we've got a Kling Clang and... Oh, okay, double Kling Clang pack. Well, fair enough. Okay. Wow, this could be one of those cases that uh, one of the boxes sort of makes up for the other ones being a bit more bulky. We'll see, though. Am I right? Am I wrong? We've got a Rhyperia reverse, Rapidash reverse, Zera Aura Hollow. My goodness me, we're down to three packs here. No Ace spec. Potentially one illust... Oh no, we've actually had three illustration rares, so that should be all good. But there's like potentially a full art or something like that coming up soon. So let's see, do we have anything in this one? I am Boulder Reverse. Again, there's that lovely shiny shine. Chinchu, okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Alchemy. The last two packs. Please? Something? Please have something. It's it's a ten it's a ten hit box. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. We've got the ace spec. So are we ready to see this? It might be one that we've already seen. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. Sparkling crystal treating us there. Gravity gemstone and cradilly hollow. Let's take a little look at this sparkling crystal. I think this is one that synergizes well with Terra Pokemon. So, Sparkling Crystal. When the Terra Pokemon this card is attached to uses an attack, that attack costs one energy less. The energy can be any... Oh, can be of any type. Ooh, not bad. So, as much as you're looking at it and thinking, oh, I'm going to have to attach three different energies, Sparkling Crystal comes down, boom. This thing can pick up the slack a little bit and maybe reduce that. Maybe you only run the two energies instead and not this or and use this. Obviously, it's a one-off card, so you've got that to keep in mind. But yeah, pretty awesome. Nice. Puts us up to 11 here. Hopefully, we can get a 12-hit box here, and this is the last pull. Let's see if I'm right. I hope I am. Is this the best pack to last? Let's see. Is it the best to last? Ooh, we definitely have something. Okay. We've got something. Mo Rotom, Mariel Reverse, and the last card. Oh, okay, okay. It is a pull. It is a pull, and it was the Melmetal that we were speaking of previously. 
Let's pop this in a sleeve and we'll take a little look at it as the last pull of this box. Here we go. So, it is Melmetal EX. It is a 280 HP metal type Pokemon that will not stay still in my hand. It does evolve, of course, from Meltan. The only attack on this is Iron Swing for two iron, two iron, two steel energy and two colorless for a hundred times. Flip two coins is tacked as a hundred damage for each heads. Weak to fire, resistant to grass, and it's also got a retreat of three right there. Again, it might be one of those bulky X's, but we've got it. It's here. There you go. Very cool. All right, well, that was very interesting. It definitely seemed, uh, I think the first box definitely set a very high bar to hit. And this box didn't, unfortunately, but that's all good. That is all good. Because hopefully this next, the next one we open will be a little bit better. So let's clear up everything here. So, oh, by the way, six, six of these Six of our lovely energies were all matching. We are going to move straight into our third one and we'll have a bit of a wombo combo of all of our pulls there from the... Well, basically at the end. Basically at the end. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Into the second box here. Flip that. Pop that down there. All those to the front and then we'll bring this over here and then we'll bring that back down so we can see everything nice and clearly and here we go let's start we've got Galvantula on the front of the first one here let's see if we can get some more terror types we've seen quite a few EXs now so we can probably skip through quite a lot of this let's see though oh we have got something straight off the bat here let's see what this might be We've got a Carnivine Reverse and, ooh, okay, pretty nice. We get the Meditite there. Oh, it's got a Chatot in the background. Love it when it features other Pokemon as well. Any of these with additional Pokemon. He's having a little swing on some vines. Really chill. He's probably used Carmine there just to drop a droplet in the uh, in the little watery lake. But yeah, very cool. Meditite there as our first pull from this our third booster box but our second one in this opening let's get a sleeve on the Meditite then pretty cool pretty cool a little bit of uh, Meditite and Medicham love in this set because we got this one as the illustration row and of course it does have an EX as well so not too bad starting off strong okay so Next pack, let's see what we've got. Oh, we go for a back-to-back -back here, straight into that Meditite as well. Very cool. Meditite Reverse, Briar Reverse, and... Ooh, cool, we get the Dashburn EX with a matching energy right there. Always good to see there. Let's pop our Dashburn in a sleeve. And anyone that's not seen this card or not read it, hopefully that will all... There you go. Could have a little pause of that one. We have seen this one multiple times before, but that's all good. That is all good. The bread dog is all, it's very tasty. It looks tasty, but I wouldn't say I would eat it. Uh, we got a Meltan going into a reverse of Fletchling Vicavolt, and we've got a Bufalant Hollow as well. Of course, there's not gonna be a matching energy on a basic energy or a normal energy. Alright, next up we go into a Mean Fu Impotent Reverse and it's going to be a Ledian Hollow. Didn't get, uh, I don't think we actually got a Ledian Hollow in that previous box. Pretty sure we didn't. I know we got a couple of Cray Dilly. Did we? I think we did. Hmm. Very interesting. There we go. All right, let's see what we've got from this one. Meryl wanted to show himself. Uh, we've got Fan Rotom, we've got Lapras, and we've got a Hollow of a Noctowl right there. Ooh, there we go, Lapras. Still not seen this Lapras Terror, so it'd be pretty cool to maybe see the Lapras in this one. All right, we've got Ponyta on the front of this one. We go into a Reverse Medicham, Reverse Joltik, and we've got a Kling Clang Hollow right there. No matching energy with the water type. <clears throat> Next up, 
We go into Glamiao. I love that artwork so much. Such a good card. Well, the artwork at least. <laughs> Very basic card, if I if I said it was a good card. Uh, we've got Lady Bear. I don't know why I'm slow rolling this. Kofu Reverse, and of course, a Hollow of Dreadnor. Next one up, next one up. Let's see what we can get. Charger Bug on the front. We have got something in this one. Oh boy, we've got something in this one. It looks potentially very shiny and very textured. Could we have another trainer? Could we? Maybe. Riolo Reverse. Ponyta Reverse. Oh, we don't. It's not a trainer. It is Terrapagos EX right there. The Stellar Terror of, of course, Terrapagos EX right there. Anyone that's not seen that, give that a little read through. Very pretty, sort of uh, colourful, explosive gems flying everywhere on this one. Very, very awesome indeed. Definitely, I think I think it's going to be a deck that I have a little mess around with because I do quite like the sort of synergy it's got with all of the other support the supportive cards from this set. Although I have a feeling that maybe in the next set there's going to be something like a fighting type attacker that can do some big damage because it's <laughs> it's weak to fighting. Sometimes that can happen where it just goes one set to another and a good card comes out and then they go, do you know what? Next one we're going to make it bad or we're going <laughs> to Give it some competition, basically. More competition. We've got a Grubbin, Reverse Togedemaru, and a Hollow Mel Metal right there. All right, Lapras, 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 Lapras. Are you gonna be in this? Could you be the elusive terror type that we don't see? I hope not. Oh, we have got something though, and it's looking very full arty. We've got this gorgeous looking pig and he's after those mushrooms. Let me tell you, he wants those mushrooms. He's absolutely, look at those eyes. He's on a mission. Lechonk reverse. We've got Charcadet reverse and it's going to be a full art. Is it Lapras? Oh, it's not. Okay, it is the Galvantula EX full art. I think we've already got this. I think we have. Not 100% sure, but you know what? We'll take it. We will take it. One thing I know, I, I mean, I noted this in the first the first booster box, but look at those edges. Those corners are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that rainbow effect going all the way around. The stellar effect as well in the middle. It's, it's really nice. Honestly, if this is only going to be for like two or three sets, it's such a good, it's such a good little thing. I think they're onto a winner with this. I really do like it. Really do. Cool, all right, full art of Galvantula. Let's see how we continue things on into the Cinderace pack right here. So we did get another Terror. Could be on for some more, let's see. Oh, a spec coming out here, okay, okay. What we got? Oh, we got the Deluxe Bomb again, cool. I mean, we've seen all three of these now, but we've got Deluxe Bomb here. We may end up seeing all of these in this opening. We've got a Reverum and Rhyperia hollow right there. Let's pop a sleeve on the deluxe bomb. Hopefully we get <laughs> two of these in this box, but you know, as soon as we've got them all, it's not exactly uh, needed, but it's going to happen. Deluxe bomb anyway. Anyone that's not seen that, give that a little pause, and there it is. Five pulls so far, and we're just over halfway on the first half here, so looking pretty good. This could be the, the, the box that has the additional stuff that we lost out on. We're going back to back here. This is mad. Okay, Rhyhorn Reverse, Charger Bug Reverse, and there it is, Lucario EX as well. All right, Lucario EX. This is another one of those that was taken from the EX Battle Decks that we mentioned. So we got the Mel, we got the Mel Metal, we got this one, and also, it was the, not the Venus, the Greninja, that was it. I think there is one more. I think there was like four, maybe, something like that. Anyway, let's have a look at what this is. Lucario EX, of course, it does evolve from Riolu. Uh, we've got HP of 250 here, is a fighting type. Uh, for one fighting and a colourless, we've got low kick for 50. And then for two fighting and a colourless, we've got aura knuckle 120. The best way to describe these, like, sort of EX battle deck ones, they're basically like an EX box promo. That's the easiest way. They could just be popped in there 
because they're they're not too too special but obviously it is an EX you know what I mean you should know what I mean <laughs> hopefully you do but who knows there's probably a lot of Lucario fans out there you might like that card is it competitive you be the judge here he is it's it's the mushroom man himself Lechonk love to see it love that card Diplin Reverse, Bombardier Reverse, and it's going to be a Zera Aura Hollow with a Water Energy. Currently just one matching energy so far, so we're lacking a little bit in this box. It's obviously not a pull or anything like that, but it's just our little... Right, we're going to go two for two on the Lechonks at the front. Okay, I've, I've spoken him into existence. He's going to be on every single one. We've got an Alchemy Reverse going into a Crispin Reverse, and there is the... Archaladon, Archaladon, Archaladon reverse, uh, hollow should I say. Archaladon, Archaladon. I still think it's wrong. Riolu is on the front of this one, ideal to evolve into our Lucaria we just got. We got the Lilip reverse, Clang, and Grey Dilly. There we go. And there it is. We ask and we shall receive a matching grass energy right there. So six pulls so far on this left side here. We've got probably this pack and maybe about two more and then we are going to see what's on that right side. Milsery. Oh, we managed to pull it. Oh, yes. Very cool indeed. We got the Bulbasaur illustration rare right there. This is beautiful stuff. Into the Caracosta Hollow. Let's give this a little sleeve and we'll get a zoom up on this. There's some Pidgeys as well. Oh, it's such a great looking card. Look at that. What a beauty. Absolutely amazing stuff there. All the little plants as well dotted around. And he's just chilling on the ledge there. And there's the Pidgeys coming in. Oh, that's great. What a lovely card. Very cool. The only way to evolve up into uh, Venusaur in this set. And there's no, rare there's no rare candy either. Which is just, you know, leaves you speechless. But there we go. That is lovely. Very, very cool. If we can get the Bulbasaur as well in this one, that would be amazing, but no. am I okay? If we can get the Squirtle in this one, <laughs> that would be amazing. All right, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, is that hollow? Ooh, that might be something else, okay. Let's see, could be a hollow playing tricks on me, but we've got a low kicks reverse, we've got a Luminion reverse, and, oh, it is a full art. It's a trainer. Oh, very cool indeed. We get the Crispin as our full art trainer from this. Oh, beautiful stuff. Look at that. He's cooking up a storm of that frying pan. What a legend. Lovely stuff. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're only like one, one full art trainer away now. We just need the Briar, which I think is easily, easily gonna, gonna happen. Definitely. Crispin, full art right there. Very cool. Any chefs or cooks out there, you're probably going to love that card. Very cool. Wow, this this one side has got eight pulls in it. This is this is just mad. The previous, the previous box had six at this point, and we've got one pack left of the left side. Surely not. Surely not. No. No, it's not. Togedemaru? Ooh. Drifloon? Oh, hold well on, I'm going wrong here. Togdemaru, you've ruined everything. Right, Drifl uh Duraladon, and... Right, there we go. Ledian is the hollow there. Okay, that's cool. So, eight so far to start us off here. Uh, we've got two illustration rares, two full arts, uh, two EXs, and then one of the Terrors, and also one A-Spec. Hmm. It is a very interesting start. Let's see how the second half of this will go. We'll bring out all of the rest of these now. And let's get cracking here. We've got ourselves our first pack again, Galvantula. If only you could see the state of the floor with these packs, it is ruined. <laughs> it's all good though, it's all good, it's a lot of fun. Right, Rapidash. Oh, here we go. We got our first dupe. It was bound to happen. It is the Crabominable. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We know it's... And it's already happened with the full art. And we're only three booster boxes in. 
There it is, Crabominable as our illustration rare, which probably means that we're, that's that's it. So we've got three illustration rares now, Crabominable being the third one. So we've already seen this one. You know what it looks like? We all good? I'll pop it down here then. Let's crack on. All right, next pack up. Let's go, Glamiel on the front. Go into a Slowpoke reverse. Marrow reverse and another lady in hollow. Wow, that's three in this box. My goodness me. Makes up for the previous one because I, I, I really don't think we got the lady in from uh, that one. But there we go. Fido on this one. Ooh, we've got something. I'm hoping it's what I. I'm really hoping it is what I think it is. It looks like a terror. Please be Lapras. Eldegoss reverse. Gravity Gemstone Reverse, and... Ooh, okay, okay. Cinderace EX is our next Terra Stella from this one. Got another one of the Cinderaces. That's all good, though. Matching Fire Energy. Not going to hold that against you at all, Cinderace. It means Lapras has escaped us potentially again. Potentially. We could still get three Full Arts. You never know. You never know, but I would like to see the, the, the Lapras at some point. Is it guaranteed in our next uh, booster box? Well, booster boxes, should I say, because there'll be three of them. Probably? But then again, this is three booster boxes now, and we've not seen one. Hootoot Reverse, Chinchu Reverse, and a Archaladon. <laughs> Archaludon. 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 Sounds better. Anyway, let's move on. Go open at the front. We've got something. We've got something. We've got something. What is it? We've got a Slow King reverse. Veluza reverse. Ooh, okay, there's that Medicham. Oh, and a... I love how these EXs bring their energies with them. It's so good. So good. That is a black spot. It's fine. It's, a... it's an oldie slave. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's coming out. There we go. Oh, it's a bit of fluff. There we go. Get rid of that. Lovely. There we go. Fresh. And new Metacham, boom, as our EX for, well, not the box, but <laughs> for our pull in this pack. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Nice. So we got that and the Meditite in one box. Very cool. Where are you, Lapras? Where are you? Some point I might see you. Some point. <clears throat> All right, we've got Fan Rotom in this one. We have got ourselves an A spec as well. What have we got? An Hello? Okay. Another Deluxe Bomb? Okay. Fair enough. Reverse Grim Snarl, which is a hollow. Noctowl? Probably the first or second one of Noctowl in this box? Why have we got two Deluxe Bomb? <laughs> Why have we got two Deluxe Bomb? Why have we? Anyone want to answer that? Not a clue. We've already seen that one, so uh, we'll put that off to the side. Another Deluxe Bomb? Probably won't see another A spec, but this is looking very promising. We're up to 12 pulls so far. This could be another absolutely crazy box. Wow. Gossifleur going into Perugly. Score Bunny. And El Crummy as our hollow. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. But, ooh, hello. Off you go. Pop that over there. Here he is! It's it's the Mushroom Pig! It's LeChonk! Ooh! Coridon Reverse! I don't think we've had one of those! That's pretty cool! Ooh! Hello! You were coming up! Well, hold on! We're up to four now! This box! What is going on? Lilip as an illustration rare! And... Oh! That is so good! You can't ask for a better box than that! Uh, oh! It's not a box! It's a pack! Oh dear! Lilip and Cradilly in one... <laughs> one pack! That's mad! That's mad. And it's not just the normal lily. It's it's this one. Um, I don't actually know. Oh, that's cool. There's a little mat on the floor and it looks like its face. Down there. That's so cool. It's little, like, facial doobie-doo. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, is it in some sort of, like, tank? Like a water tank, it looks like. And she's... Yeah, because there's, like... a That needs cleaning because that water is yellow. Are we seeing that? Or is that just light? That's probably the light shining on it. Sorry. Didn't mean to disrespect, but you might want to put a little sterilising tablet or something in there. Well, then again, it might, it might affect the uh, 
the Lilith. Anyway, moving on before I go mad. We've got a Grievard Reverse, Lacey Reverse, and it's going to be a Zera Aura Hollow with a matching energy. We're up to five now. My goodness me. We went from one to five, and it feels like it just, I blinked and missed it. Crazy. All right, let's see what we've got in this one. We've got a Marowak Reverse. We've got a Raboot Reverse and an Iron Boulder Hollow. No matching energy on that one. All good. These boxes are treating us very well so far. I think this has definitely made up for that second one being a little bit of a stinker, but they, that seems to happen really in a in a case. You normally get one that's got like a bit of a stinker or two, potentially, but we'll see. A Spathra Reverse, Arch Archaludon Reverse, and a Grimmsnarl Hollow with a Fighting Energy. We are now down to seven packs. Honestly, we're doing pretty well. 13 pulls, I believe, so far. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, 13 pulls. 13. Let's see how much we can go. Oh, there is... Oh, my goodness me. Are we go... Is this actually going to happen? Wow, okay. We are looking potentially at... One, two... Okay, this is the. Th this could possibly be the third one. Okay. Cradily. Reverse. Oh, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. I can't. <laughs> I can't get a grip. Come on. Don't ruin it. There we go. Whew. Uh, we got Reshi Ram. Reverse. And. Hey! We got all the trainer full arts. Yes! We got the Briar as well. What a box to get Crispin and Briar full art as well. Both of these sort of synergizing really well with those terrors to sort of give them that extra little boost. Um, it's, it's a great looking card, it really is. This isn't the special illustration right by the way, because it wasn't in that, that part, because there is an energy right there. So, <laughs> don't worry. I think they look somewhat similar, but I could be completely wrong. The lacy one definitely isn't, because they're at a table, but the, uh, the briar one might be slightly different. But yeah, very cool indeed getting that briar as our full art here. That's three full arts now. What a great box. I keep saying it, but it is. The only thing we could really do with, gold, <laughs> I'm saying it, gold, oh no, am I speaking this into existence, oh my god I have, oh my god I have, what the heck have I done, we've got a gold, we've got a gold, I think anyway, Duraladon, Perugly, Tur <laughs> I was going to say Tarantula, uh, Tortuga, Meltan, Reverum, Lapras, Mean Shao, here we go, Reverse, Talonflame, into, I'm shaking a bit, please, please be Terrapagos, or Air if it's the Area Zero under Depths or Terrapagos, I'm fine, if it's the other one, we're fine, it's a gold card, we deal with it, it is, <gasps> oh yes, we are cooking on gas, <laughs> oh, Terrapagos, EX Gold Card. Oh my goodness me. Wow. These are very rare to come by. There's only three of these golds in this set. Normally there's about six. This is the only Pokemon as well. We have pulled an absolute blinder of a box here. This is great stuff. Oh, this definitely makes up for that previous one. My goodness me. We don't go double, surely. It's a hollow Boofaland. Okay, we can live with that. We can live with that. Let's get a sleeve on this. It is looking very, very nice indeed. That is beautiful. Let's get a sleeve on that straight away. I am somewhat shaking. Somewhat of a shake going on. Oh, that is beautiful. We call it into existence. I was opening the pack. The only thing we could need is gold. Flip it round. Boom. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Absolutely amazing. We're up to 15 pulls. 15! And we still have five packs. I can't believe this, but we might have a 16 pull box. This could be absolutely mad. This might be the best booster box I've opened for pull rates. My goodness me. Follow, and it was it started off with 12. I mean, come on. Oh my god, it is. 
Oh my goodness me, we are going... Oh, please, 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 please be something good. Please be. I don't care what, what it is. Let's just have something. This is going to be an absolutely great box. Cubone. Dreadnought Reverse. Greninja EX. Absolutely amazing. And a matching energy. We're up to six. My goodness me. We've, we've, we've excelled on expectations here. This is absolutely incredible here. Getting 16 pulls. 16. Just put that into perspective. 16. Now, I'd like to just... Draw your attention to something. Hopefully it's on the box. Um, is it on the box? It's not on the box, is it? I've ruined it. It's not on the box. Oh, God. Is it on the box? 36. There we go. There it is, right there. Just just, just right there. Contains 36 packs. 16 of those have had a pull-in. 16. That is mad. That is mad. I don't know whether this is just a fluke. But we are having an absolutely great time. But bearing in mind, I've still got four packs here. If we go to 17, this probably hits a record for me. Because I don't think I've done a 16 box before. This could happen. Let's see. Let's see, though. Oh, my goodness, mate. We've got a Celebi Reverse, Salandit Reverse, and a Dreadnought Hollow. We could just go four packs here that are all hollow. Because we have pretty much gone back to back. This could just be an A spec that tips it over the edge. It could be anything, but we will see. There is an EV of the reverse variety. We've got a Mel Metal and a Mel. Okay, double Mel Metal in that pack. Okay, two packs left. Honestly, if this ends up just being nothing, I I can totally agree with that. But if we get one more thing, 17's hitting the record. Oh no. Is this for real? This is actually for real. We've got something else. And I'm not just talking an EX, I'm talking big boy. Big things. Let's have a look. We've got Applin, Crabrawler, this is amazing. Wooloo, Salandit, Reshiram, Swalot, Togedemaru, Mean Shao. Are we ready for this? I re it's not I don't think it's gold, but it is something. And this I cannot believe I'm pulling a gold. And a special illustration rare. If this is a trainer, I'm going to lose my mind. Is it what? Come on. It is. It is something. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my goodness me. I don't care if it's a trainer. I wanted this one and we got it. Oh, it's the dash bun. It's the dash bun EX. Putting us up to 17 pulls. What? That is amazing. Oh, it's so good. It looks so good. Oh, he looks so tasty. <laughs> oh my goodness me. What a beautiful card. Oh, that is so, so good. I cannot believe we've gone 70. This is honestly, I think it is the best booster box I have ever opened. And I'm putting that statement out there right now. It has to be. It has to be the best one. 17 pulls. They may not all be worth a lot, but my goodness me, have we had an absolutely solid, solid box here. 17 pulls. We have one more pack left. Surely not. Now, this is either a really great omen, and we've had 17 pulls, or this means that our other three boxes to come have been severely reduced down to like 10, and that explains why this is up to 17. Let's see. Do we end with anything else? I don't think we will. Glamiao Reverse. Electrovia Reverse. And a Kling Clang Hollow. With a matching energy, putting us up to 7 energies. And you want to know what? We've had an absolute blinder of these because we were literally one energy off. A dark type energy. And we would have had the full set of all eight. That's how, that, uh, oh. Hands down. Hands down the best booster box I have opened ever. I'm buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. If you've watched all the way here, this has been an absolutely amazing, amazing journey to see all of this being pulled. I cannot believe it. You saw it firsthand as well. Like, oh, this is crazy. This is absolutely mad. Oh, I am shaking so much. My goodness me. We're going to have a recap right now. We're going to have a recap. I need to grab all the cards here. 
Oh my goodness me. Right, calm down, calm down, calm down. We've opened them all now. That's the good thing. Let's do... <laughs> I think we start with our second booster box, don't we? Let's, uh, let's bring the good stuff over here. And then let's bring this back in. So, what did we get from the first one? Well, we got some EXs. We've got some EXs. EXs. We've got some EXs. We've definitely got some EXs. We had a lot of duplicate EXs. We did get six, which is pretty cool. And a Terra. So six EXs in total. I'm not being funny. I'm, re <laughs> I'm really going to say this. That's probably not worth a lot with these. These are very much like half of them are bulk. These ones could be a little bit. Maybe like two, three, something like that. Terra Cinderace. Yeah, ups, ups it a little bit. Only one Ace spec in this box. Uh, then we got three illustration rares from this, and then the one full art in Lacey right there. So, like we said, you got your seven, eight, and then you go up to twelve. So that was a twelve hit box, okay? Just putting that into perspective, that's a twelve hit box. You know, it's, it's alright, it's alright. Oh my goodness me, I cannot believe this. 12 hit box leads us to our best hitting box ever. This is absolutely nuts. I'm going to sort all these out right now because we've had an absolute beauty of an opening here. It's been a joy to open this up. We've gone from strength to strength. We've gone from one thing to another. Um, oh, it's so good. So, so good. All right, here we go. Let's have a little look then. So... We did get four EXs from this one, so not so much six. So six regulars. A couple of those were, let's just say, they were bulk EXs. They're some of the EX ones. Fair enough. Uh, we've also got ourselves the two Stellar Terrors in Cinderace and Terrapagos right there. So we go up to six here. Lovely. Great start. Well, you know, we'll take that up to six. Is that everything on, uh, on display there? Yeah. Then we managed to, you know, bomb ourselves a little bit because we got a deluxe bomb twice, as as you do, putting us up to eight. And now we're all out of out of sync here. But uh, oh, the excitement! The excitement! Oh my goodness me! Let's bring this up a little bit. So we're up to eight. We're up to eight so far. Then we even go increased odds here. Okay, increased odds. Okay, we get Crabomitable. We get Lily. Uh, Lilip. Meditite and Bulbasaur, four illustration rares. I haven't done this before. Four of these illustration rares, not done. So that's great. That's really good. We like that. Good stuff. Full arts. Yeah, okay, we got some full arts as well. We got a Galvantula EX, Briar e uh, Briar EX, what am I on about? Briar full art and a Crispin full art as well. Three. Three full arts. Now you'd probably be thinking you can stop now, surely. Oh no, 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 no. The box was saying, no, you need to try and break a record here. We got probably my favourite special illustration rare from this whole set. Dashbun EX. He's on a picnic blanket. He's with food. He's blending in. What a absolute beauty right there. Putting us up to 16 pulls. 16. Say it again. 1, 6. 16. But no, the box decided, go to 17. Go for gold. And we did. Terrapagos EX finishing things off for us in this opening. What a great one. What an absolute great one. It's been a pleasure to open this for you. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but we actually still have three more boxes to go. If we have another one of these, that could be mad. But yet again, we could be on for like 10 pull boxes, but we will see. So we've had 15, 12, 17. A 17 pull box. I doubt I'll ever see this happen again. So take a picture of this, because it happened. My goodness me. Anyway. I will leave it here. I'm going to take take these lovely cards and, uh, oh, yes, good stuff, good stuff. I'll leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video when we take a look at the triple blisters. But for now, I'm going to go and breathe. Good luck with your openings, and I'll catch you next time.